have your birds, you can have your bees, just to be there simply from. But the thing I'd really like to be is not a bird or a flower or a bee or a fish or a camel or a jumping flea, but a moth, a little moth. From lifting around a candle, frightened to go near, a singing of your chassis and feeling very queer, or bashing out your brains against a chandelier, like a moth, a little moth. Sure, but the flighty quite all righty, just had a meal off a lady's nighty, <laughs> not stop to live on. You can have your jab, you can have your lamb, you can have your chicken broth, for the things of which I like to dine, are a little bit of fur, or crepe that shine, sheen, shine, or the same kind of lemon, and I'll take some wine like a moth, a little moth. Bringing up the family, remembering its due, to tell them what they must do and what they must not do, and tell them what they must chew and what they must eschew, just like a moth, a discerning moth. Oh, light and airy, just like a fairy, chews up yards of cloth, but think of the scare and dyspepsia that's caused by the fruity, nice and juicy, left on trousers of a bird and snooty to a non stop nibbling moth. But to nest in a camisole, pure and white, and do 18 holes in the middle of the night, that's a moth. <laughs> Hating all the nudists, they're very, very rude. The bare idea of Paul's me, although I'm not a prude. Not even just a fig leaf to make you think of food, and always a moth. A little moth. Oh, like a dairy, just like fairy, chewing up yards of cloth. But think of the joys and fun, my boys, of a great dairy, drinking, swearing, don't do the dark of it, some camp Because like we're in need of a bit of elevation around here, I was thinking. And that's about as elevated as it's going to get. <laughs> but we prepared to shoot it here. Yet upon occasion, life could be a curse. Imagine for a moment, could anything be worse than being found dead in a Scotsman's purse? <laughs> like a moth, a gaily. Thank you.